Hi, my name is Radek and this is my workshop. There is a tool which speeds up and simplifies making wooden joinery on a table saw or a router by eliminating the need for measuring and marking, which also means that your joint will have nice tight fit. Now that my beard grew so long, which as everybody knows makes me very good woodworker, I would like to tell you about this tool and show you how to use it. I have three similar looking tools from Bridge City Toolworks here. Those are Curvemaker KM1, Curvemaker KM2 and the Tenon Maker TM1. Despite different sizes and slightly different construction, they all work based on the same principle, incorporating the curve width as a negative offset for cutting joinery. Ok, so let me show you what does it mean. First of all, we need to transfer blade's curve to the tool. You could measure width of your blade and then use it to calibrate your curve maker, but it doesn't take into account the slight wobble of spinning blade, which might occur in your saw. I'm gonna show you a more precise method which considers the blade's wobble. Prepare two pieces of wood of identical length. Cut one of them in half. The difference in length of those pieces is the actual curve created by your spinning blade. Curve maker calibration is about setting gold colored body and orange slider ends apart by the width of the curve. Push the grey slider all the way towards the body and lock it with the grey knob. Now rest the golden part over two stacked shorter pieces of wood while the orange part rests on the longer piece. Lock it with the orange knob. See, this distance needs to be the same with your curve. You won't have to repeat this operation as long as you use the same blade for your joinery, so don't loosen the orange knob. Now that curve maker is calibrated, we can use it for making variety of joints. We can cut tenons, dados and grooves with it, etc. I will make a half lap joint. Place the board in between the golden body and the grey slider of the curve maker. Lock the grey knob. Clamp the red stop block to the fence. Bat the orange part of curve maker with the stop block. Built-in magnets will hold it in place. Make the first shoulder cut on both boards. Now switch curve maker's position. The golden body should rest on the red stop block. Make the second shoulder cut on both boards. Now you need to remove the material in between the shoulders. As a result you get the perfect fit without measuring and marking anything. So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? I hope you learned something useful today and like my video. Thank you very much for watching, till the next episode.